Three, two, one. The technical theory, guys. Welcome. All right, guys, so what does the technical theory mean? What does it stand for? Why do you care? All right, guys, so what's happening is all of us use technology on a daily basis, a lot of technology, whether it's our computer, tablet, PC, Apple Watch, Samsung Watch, any type of wearable, any type of device, and any type of, like you could say, home screen system. Technology is everywhere. And you know, it's cool. Technology is helping us out. But as it's helping us out, it's also bringing out new rumors. The technology usually, you know, we don't live in an ideal world. And since we don't live in an ideal world, we don't have good technology. If we were to live in an ideal world, it would be a utopia, and utopias are not possible. So therefore, we have technological issues. And by technological issues, I mean your phone battery is probably going bad, and you're blaming it on other companies, like the manufacturers. Um, software is going bad, so you're blaming it on the manufacturers, or your own installation processes, or whatever you're doing. However, this channel is going to resolve all those issues. By resolving, I'm going to be explaining to you, you know, what's going on with your stuff, why is it going wrong, what's the purpose behind it, and should the manufacturer, or what exact thing should be at fault. So for example, if it's you, the software, or the manufacturer, or what's going on in the whole background. So I'll be, you know, doing the best that I can to give you all that information, because let's just take for one example, the Apple battery scenario. So again, Apple phones are widely used in the United States. A lot of those people uh, have the Apple phones. And you know, Apple phones are pretty easy to use. I'll give them Apple that. They have a really nice premium feel to them. They have a good price, you could say now. But what's going on with all that, new rooms are starting to evolve slowly and slowly. Yo, Apple does this. You know, they're trying to slow your phone down purposely so you can buy the new phone. Or, I don't know, they give crappy phones now. But what's really going on, for example, now I'm not going to take anyone's side here. I'm going to take the consumer side and I'm going to take the Apple side too. For example, an iPhone 6, all right? So back when your phone was probably released, what was it, iOS 9, iOS 8, or iOS 7, that was in play. And now, according to, you know, you upgrading constantly to iOS 12 now, modern day, what's going to happen is your tasks are going to definitely increase. You know, you want your home kit to work, you want Hey Siri to work, you want all that stuff to work. But wait, how does that relate to my iPhone battery? Why should I, you know, be draining my battery? Why should I have to be forced to get a new battery for my phone? Well, the whole thing behind that is that your processor is going to acquire some more battery amount from your battery. And I get it, you know, because all your functions, let's just say your RAM, your hard drive, and your processor all need sufficient power to be able to work properly. And since you have all that power, what is power without functionality? What is functionality without power? So as you can see, it goes hand in hand. A lot of new apps have been launched, a lot of new features, camera features, microphone features, location features, Life360 is out there too now. But the whole thing is, it's more oriented to get more tasks done. And before, when the iPhone 6 was released, for example, there weren't many tasks to do with the phone, besides taking a picture, browsing the web, checking your email, okay, a lot of features. But now there's been a big addition to it. Again, relating back to the Apple issue, my opinion on the whole stance is I don't blame any company. I don't blame Apple, I don't blame the consumer. It's just, expectations have risen, but the consumer doesn't want to spend more money, and if they do want to spend more money, they want to get a premium quality feel. However, what's happened is that when Apple released this new phone, the iPhone XR, and the XS, and the XS Max, well, the least expensive model first would stereotype the current model of the iPhone XR. So you think about it, when back then when the iPhone 6 was first released, you know, you can get 16 gigabyte to 64 gigabyte, and then you can get 128 gigabytes. However, 16 gigabyte was the base model, and that was like, I guess like around 700 bucks. Same thing with the iPhone XR, instead of paying 700 bucks for a 16 gigabyte phone, you're getting a 64 gigabyte phone for roughly $50 more. And you know, that was just there before too. So prices haven't changed. It's just methods of communication have changed, you know? Because before, Apple released one phone, and now they released like now five phones. So I get it, you know, consumers kind of there, you know, they're not paying much attention into what's going on too. But Apple is also at fault because they shouldn't have released the expensive model first. However, besides just trashing on these companies and consumer versus manufacturer, that's exactly what this channel is going to do. It's going to be discussing uh, modern day inconveniences, conveniences, how you can get rid of those inconveniences, fix your stuff, keep your devices healthy and running quick, and you know, just unboxing the reviews and just, you know, tips on what you can do with your iPhone, Samsung, Windows, Mac computers, and all those, you know, other et cetera fields. So guys, that's the technological theory. By the way, check out the videos in the 
channel. That's pretty good.